Welcome to another video teaching you about Python programming and we're going to be sticking with our turtle graphics this week as we learn how to make our code more efficient by using subroutines. Now subroutines are like mini programs inside our programs and they're used primarily when you have code that you need to use over and over and over again rather than having to type it in a lot or use a loop to make it run a fixed number of times we can actually define our own little methods or our own little procedures which will run those steps of code whenever we need them. So we saw last lesson how to use a for loop to make something repeat a certain number of times. And here I've got a code that's going to run four times and it's going to take my turtle forwards 100 and write 90. No prizes for guessing, this is going to draw a square. So let's imagine I wanted to always be able to draw a square um, without having to rewrite or copy and paste this code all the time. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just have a command called draw square or just square? So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We can define our own subroutines by using the DEF or DEF keyword. It stands for define, followed by the name of the subroutine we want to create. So I'm going to um, create one called uh, let's say draw underscore square so just like variables you can't have spaces in the names and then we follow it with open and close brackets and a colon sign and then I have to put the code inside that I want to run so I'm going to take my code for drawing a square I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it but a colon here should start telling you instantly, ah, everything underneath needs to be indented. So I'm going to select that code, press my tab key, and now it's all part of my subroutine. So let's run this and see what happens. Hmm. Well, this is odd because I've got code that draws um, a turtle forward and goes right 90 and repeats four times, but I'm pressing run and nothing seems to be happening. Now the reason is because I've now defined a subroutine called draw square but I haven't told Python to call or run my subroutine. So to do that I need to write draw square again followed by bracket bracket and now it will actually run that subroutine. But the nice thing about this is that I could do other things. I could now say, right, well, I'm going to make my per turtle go pen up. And I'm going to go maybe t dot left 90. And maybe I'm going to go t dot forward 60. Who knows? And then maybe I'm going to go p dot pen down so I can draw again. And that's how I want another square. Well, now I can just run my draw square routine again. So it draws my first square and then I go pen up and I go somewhere else and I draw another square. So every time I want to draw a square now, I can just call draw square. So this leads us into our first task for this lesson. I want you to create a subroutine to draw a 100 by 100 sized square. Now the thing is, we don't always want squares to be of a fixed size. So it would be really nice if we could say draw a square of X size like draw square 20 or draw square 80 or draw square 500 and each time it would produce a square of a different size. Well we can do exactly that using these things called parameters. Parameters are values that you pass into a subroutine so that when the subroutine runs it can use that parameter value in your code. So let's look at how to do that in Python. So here's my draw square routine and I want to change it so that it can draw squares of any size. Parameters belong inside these brackets. If you watch another video on this you'll hear people call those parentheses but I'm just going to call them brackets because it's easier. So draw square and then in the brackets we can place a, effectively a variable. So I'm going to call it size. And instead of going forward 100, I'm going to go forward whatever the value is that's been set to size. So whatever size has been set to, go forward that amount. So now if I want to draw a square, 
and I run this, it's gonna f it's gonna crash because I haven't specified a size. So it's not showing anything. And if I go to my console, it tells me draw square. It takes exactly one argument. An argument is a value for a parameter, but I've given none. So it's complaining because now draw square demands or requires that I specify a size. So let's say I put in size 50 and let's run it and see. I should get a relatively small square. Okay. And let's put in a 300 and see what happens. And now I get a much bigger square. Notice I haven't had to make any changes to my draw square routine. I'm just passing in different values which get used by the code inside the subroutine. So for your second task, I want you to do just what I've shown you. I want you to create your own subroutine uh, or adapt the subroutine that you've made already for a square, but adapt it so that it can be a square of any size where you specify that size as a parameter. So for example, if you were to write square brackets 80, it would draw a square with sides that are 80 pixels long. So sometimes you can, might want to provide um, more than one parameter. So if we were doing a rectangle, you might want to provide both a height and a width. So we could do that by creating a new method or a new subroutine called um, def draw rectangle. And in the brackets, well, before we just had size and that was fine when we did a square because a square has the same size for all um, sides. But for this one, I'm going to do height, comma, width, colon. So this subroutine is called draw rectangle, and it takes two arguments for its two parameters, height and width. So how would we make a, a rectangle for this? Well, we could do 4i in range 2, because this is going to be repeated twice, t dot forward height t dot right 90, t dot forward width, t dot right 90. And let's remember to call our subroutine draw rectangle and let's give it maybe a height of uh, 20 but a width of 100 and let's see what happens. Okay, so it sort of seems like I've got my height and width the wrong way round, really. So maybe we should have gone forward uh, width first and height second. Let's see what happens now. There we go. So we've got a height of 20, but a width of 100. That looks pretty good to me. So this has worked by passing in, as I said, two uh, values. So we've specified two parameters. The first one's called height. We use a comma to say we've got another one coming and then we use uh, the second one, I've called it width and each of those effectively become variables inside my subroutine so I can use those wherever I want in the subroutine and when I call my subroutine I have to provide the values that those parameters or variables are going to take. So for your third task I want you to write a subroutine that uses two parameters just like I did to specify the height and width of your own rectangle. So it's time for some challenges. Um, I want you to now write some subroutines to draw each of these shapes. I want you to write a subroutine called parallelogram that can draw the shape on the left and another subroutine called trapezium that draws the shape on the right. I'm not going to give you any hints on this other than to say that your parallelogram and trapeziums, those angles you see there, are basically 45 degrees, or at least in the parallelogram, you've got a 45 degree angle initially. How did you get on with your parallelograms and trapeziums? Hopefully pretty well, because what we're going to do now is use all the different routines we've made today, so drawing the square, the rectangle, the trapezium methods that you've created, um, along with maybe a new one that you might need to create called window to draw a house. Now you're going to need to use the pen up and pen down methods of the turtle so that you can kind of reposition the turtle before you draw each of the different shapes. And you're going to need to call your different shapes 
um, in the right places in order to combine them together to construct a house shape. When you're done, screenshot a picture of your house and the code that you used for creating each of your subroutines and how you then called all of those subroutines in sequence to produce the final house shape. If you've enjoyed playing with Turtle, um, then there's a really good short, simple guide um, at the link on the screen right now to some of the different functions um, and methods of the turtle. So just different ways of using it to draw things, change the speed, change the shape of the turtle, a um, bit more information about using color um, and some predefined shapes built in. So have a little look at that if you're interested in learning more.